I'd like to talk about the principle of inclusion and exclusion. Um, it's to do with intersection and stuff. So we've got the number of elements in A or B would be equal to the number of the elements in A. Why am I writing P? That should be an answer. The number of the elements in A plus the number of the elements in B minus D number of the elements in A and B. Yeah, another one there. Which might not seem like much, no. But we're going to be looking at a series of questions that kind of will be the remainder of this section. Well, this kind of ties into the next section. But, um, yeah, it's going to... Um, once you see this in action, it won't be that bad. Uh, this is a typical style of uh, question that you'll see. 65 employees work at an embassy, 47 speak German, 35 speak French, 20 speak both. Uh, how many of them work neither, or speak neither language? So we're going to set up a Venn diagram to solve it, but I'll also try to solve it with the formula as well. You can see that, let's see if I draw a couple of circles here. That's not even going to be close to right. Let me try that again. Okay, let's try this. So I got a big box here, and a circle here, and a circle here. Well, if this is the Germans and this is the French, I can fill in parts of this, starting with the middle part. I know that 20 people have to be here. So, for the Germans, I know that there's 47 in total, and I've already accounted for 20 of them. So that leaves 27 left over. So that has to go here. For the French speakers, there's 35 minus 20. That's a 5. That's 15. So 15 are here. My entire staff or business was 65 in the universe. Of the 65, so many are spoken for within the German and French speaking population. So I can add this all together, 27 plus 20 is 47, plus 15 is uh, 47, 57, 62, I should grab a calculator here, 35, 55, 62. So yeah, inside here, all of this shenanigans is 62, which means there can only be three people that don't exist inside these two circles to make the total of 65. Okay. Um, let's try this. This is 47 plus 35 minus 20 equals So here's another way to think of this. Um, we've got the total A within the circles is the amount that's in A plus the amount in B. Take away the amount that's in A and B. So 47 plus 35 um, minus 20 gives us 62. Let's just see the other way to figure that out. 
it, I hope that makes sense, like, if you think about it. Um, in terms of what we're counting, right? When we count A, we get all of this circle. When we count B, we get all of this circle. So we've counted their intersection point twice, which is why you have to get rid of it, right? Because you've counted it once, you've counted it twice, so it's got twice as many in there. So you have to take that out once, and then you'll have the right number of elements within our two sets. I hope that's clear. Um, maybe I'll do one more example. Okay, in this example, the graduating class is 32 students who pass a math class, 63 who pass a science class, and 15 who pass both. If 10 people didn't pass at all, how many students are totally in the class? So, um, with the formula, I know that this will tell me how many students are taking the classes. And uh, I'll set up the Venn diagram afterwards, but uh, I know there's 32 here, there's 63 here, and there's 15 here. So now I can just punch this into my calculator, and I should get 32 plus 63 minus 15 is 80 students. So 80 students in total passed math and science, whether uh, they passed both math and science, they passed just math, or they passed just science, um, 80 in total. And then uh, 10 didn't pass, so I have to add them up to get a graduating class of 90 students. And if you had seen the Venn diagram, oh, that's a terrible Venn diagram. Here, here. In the middle is the 15 students who took both. And then I would have to take 32 minus 15 to figure out that there were 17 students who just passed math. Because uh, the 15 already accounts for some of the 32. And then 63 minus 15 is 48. 48 students who passed just science. And then the 15 that passed them both. Set this up, my 10 goes here. All in total, 90 students. Okay, now there's some questions for you to try and they follow this formula. You might have to find A union B, you might have to find A or B, or A and the intersection of B, but it's really gonna utilize this formula. Okay.